Hi, Kathy. Um, I don't know if you've ever had your scan analyzed like I'm going to, but this is what I do. And when we take your second scan, I'll compare it to this one and maybe come up with some goals or whatever else. So, okay. So just, you know, real quick, this is the water inside your cells, 48.1 pounds. Water outside your cells, 28.2 pounds. Total body water, 76.3 pounds. Is that good or bad? It's good. It's fine. Um, that means, like, down here, this number would be 0 0.36, 2 0.39, and you're 0 0.37. So that's good. That's your extracellular water, water outside your cells over your total body water. So that's all good there, okay? And then dry lean mass, this is your muscle cells only, 27.8 pounds. So your water and your uh, muscle cells together make up 104 of your 166.6 pounds. Okay, and then your body fat is 62.5 pounds. And that'll give you your total weight, all right? Now, if you notice here, muscle fat analysis, your weight, 166.6, muscle, skeletal muscle mass is 58.2, and your body fat mass is, like we said already, 62.5. All right, so if you see this arrow here, this dash and this arrow going up, what that means is in the dash would be average for your gender and your height. Um, the arrow going down would be below average. The arrow going up, it would be above average. And you see that same thing down here, down here, and over here with the body fat, okay? So with that being said, body weight is a little bit above average but what i really like here is your 58.2 pounds of skeletal muscle mass at your bones and your muscle cells together that is above average as well 58.2 so with that being above average if we see that stay the same that'd be great or seeing that increase would be great as well especially in your legs and i'm going to tell you why i have that conclusion in a second all right so if we see body weight go down in the form of body fat, that would be ideal. Right now you have a C shape, so we wanna see that she, that C, oh God, C become less pronounced and eventually maybe turn into the shape of an I, right? And then a D would be body weight in, skeletal muscle mass out, and it would make the shape of a D. All right, so good goals would be turn the C into an I. Okay, body weight in, skeletal muscle mass out, and um, body fat in. Now, if you happen to gain muscle throughout this process, this, this 12 weeks, that would be tremendous as well. And that would help make the shape of an eye too. Scan is recommending that you lose 31.5 pounds of body fat. You might be, so what that would do is it would drop your 62.5 down to like um, 33 something like that, 33 pounds of body fat. That would also drop 33 pounds off of your overall weight. So you'd be sitting at um, 133, 133 pounds. And you might be looking at that and thinking, no way can that happen. Um, can that happen dropping 33 pounds in 12 weeks? Mm, ideally, we don't want that to happen in the 12 weeks. Ideally, we'd rather have you gain skeletal muscle mass. Yes, drop some, right? Even if you dropped a pound of body fat a week, that would be 12 pounds off. Drop that number, you know, almost in half. That would be a good goal, okay? So, hi Julian. Percent body fat right now is at 37.6%, okay? Average for women between 18 and 28 percent so getting that percentage down would be ideal okay if you take a look at your muscle your you know and i like to look at this number down here this lower number this is the percent ability to support your body weight so your right arm has 122 percent ability to support your body weight well over 100 which is great we want these numbers to be over 100 your left arm has 122.6% ability to support your body weight. They're very equal, which is good. Your core is 113.7% ability to support your body weight, which is good. So these three numbers are all well above 100. And then if you look at your legs, okay, your right leg is at 97% ability to support your body weight, and left leg is at 96. 
So ideally, we want to get these above 100% ability to support your body weight. Now, if you to, were to lose body weight and they had to support less body weight, sometimes that just happens naturally, right? Or they get stronger, right? One of two things happens. And sometimes both things happen simultaneously. All right, so that's a good goal. And this is unilateral leg strength. This is not both legs together. So this is like one leg. So this is like lunges, box step ups, that kind of thing, okay? And we spend most of our time on one leg in activities of daily living. So the stronger we can get that one leg to be able to support our body weight, the better, right? Less chance of falling, better balance, that kind of thing. Okay, and I already talked about this number and ideally we'll see this go down through the 12 weeks. Every scan will see that go down, hopefully. Now, this, you can't spot lose body weight. I'm sorry, body fat, you can't spot lose it, but this is just telling you where it is. And then in the next scan, it'll tell you where you're losing it from. Okay, so 4.6 pounds on each arm, 34 pounds on the trunk, and which includes the visceral fat, which is the internal fat, which is like that scary, unhealthy heart attack fat. And then 8.2 pounds on each leg. Okay, now visceral fat levels average is 10, so 10 and below is considered healthy. So ideally, if we could get this visceral fat level closer to 10 or even under 10, that would be a huge, huge, huge win in terms of, you know, like longevity and that kind of thing. So baseline scan. One thing that I do like about this scan, I kind of told you this this morning, was the improvements that you made from, I don't know if this, this is, probably, yeah, this was your first scan ever, April 12th, that's my mom's birthday. April 12th, 2022. So you're pretty much at your one year mark. April 20th today. So this is like your one year mark in CrossFit, right? But the changes that you made in the 12 week transformation, you've done a really good job of maintaining them, especially that skeletal muscle mass. Slight, slight, slight increase in body fat percentage, but not much. Um, but the fact that you've you put on that skeletal muscle mass and maintain it that's great okay so since we talked about this since july 5th 2022 you've done a good job maintaining but now we'd like to get things moving again right so we'd like to get body fat percentage to move down skeletal muscle mass to either stay the same or go up body weight go down with the body fat okay so this over here this number is your basal metabolic rate all right that's the number of calories that you burn in a day that you've done absolutely nothing and you're working out quite a bit like I can't really ask you to work out much more or harder nor do I want to so what we need to do to make things move is really dial in and tune in the nutrition okay so I don't know I want to talk to you about what you're currently doing with your nutrition, if you're tracking or what you're doing. And then if, you, if you'd like, I can set up a meeting between you and Carlene and I'll sponsor that meeting. All right. Or if you feel like you do have a good knowledge base, you just need to dial it in, then try that. And then um, over the next four weeks, and then if you still don't get results in what you want, then we can set up the meeting. I'll leave that up to you. Okay. But this number here, 1,389, that's the number of calories you burn in a day that you've done absolutely nothing. So food-wise, you want to be somewhat near that. You definitely never, ever, ever want to be below that. If you don't eat that number of calories, you're going to hang on to these fat cells because your body's going to be in survival mode. It's going to say, all right, I don't know. I don't have enough calories here. I don't know when I'm going to get calories again, so I'm going to hang on to all these fat cells. I'm not going to let any burn off. And I see that mostly with people, okay? So if that's what's happening, we, another thing you could do is frequent small meals. That helps boost metabolism which helps burn fat and as long as you're getting this number or higher okay when i say higher not much higher especially on days that you work out so you want to go into a little bit of a what we call a caloric deficit but never ever below this number caloric deficit would mean you hit this number but you work out so you burn significantly more than this number right so anyway i just said a lot hopefully makes a little bit of sense I want to know what your food, what you're doing with your foods right now. And uh, let me know if you have questions. Also, let me know if you'd rather set up a meeting with Carly now 
versus at the four week mark or whatever else. I am a okay with setting that meeting up with you guys now. All right, let me know questions.